Good afternoon. It's normally the evenings that you see me on Wednesday nights. You still see me later on if you tune in. But anyway, good afternoon from Disney's Wilderness Lodge. More specifically, the Copper Creek and Boulder Ridge areas, part of the new Disney Vacation Club expansion. I'm here today um, in jeans because I had to go to a construction site. So I'm, I'm sweating like there's nobody's business, but I am here as part of a, a quick media tour of some of the new construction going on here at the Disney Vacation Club villas. You can see behind me uh, some of the cabins, which well, we'll get to that in a second. But um, I will tell you that I have always loved Wilderness Lodge. I've loved the theming. I love the backstory. I've loved the food and I've loved the food. And now I have yet more reasons to love Wilderness Lodge. Jason Lozada, what's going on? I'll see if I can make it over to see you guys. Rob, I saw James Desern. I hope you are doing well, buddy. It's been way too long. Grimly Grinning, nice to see you. Everybody who is joining me this afternoon or if you are watching on the replay, including but not limited to Gareth Pemberton III from those United Kingdoms. Uh, James Desern, it is absolutely beautiful. Um, I have always loved this resort. I have always loved the theming and uh, they have taken something special and made it even more so. Uh, I'll give you a quick little tour of the area. Obviously it took uh, portions of the lodge and some of the other DVC properties and have expanded it to include uh, what is now, well, so the old DVC section was is now known as Boulder Ridge, the new section, which is opening on July 17th, which as you may or may not know is Disneyland's birthday, um, is going to be called Copper Creek. I can't take you into the construction areas, obviously, but I can show you a few of the new things. Uh, I actually just came and had a nice little nosh uh, in what may be my favorite spot. Uh, we're out here at the lounge, which is the old lounge, uh, which is now going to become a, a spa for manis and petties and whatever else you do at the spa. But this new location with food and drinks and sitting out here by the water is absolutely right, Roberto. Is this not this this is not a bad place to work, is it? It is. Uh, it is absolutely. It is beautiful out here, and today is really a. Uh, it is a picture perfect day. I'll turn you around very quickly so you can take a look at what this is. And I absolutely sense a, uh, a live dining review coming here in my very near future. And if you can't find me, there's a good chance I might actually be here. So I have just come out from said private event. Uh, they did a media preview today for us. Uh, had a chance to sample some of the items. Uh, had a chance to chat with the chef. Uh, you see people are enjoying their food. Um, there's TVs. There is um, wonderful. There's tons of places to sit. Hi. I watch you. I mean, I don't watch you all the time because that would make it so really weird. <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> how are you? What's your name? Gina. Gina, how are you? How you doing, guys? More importantly, how's your food? Good. Not wow, that's quite an endorsement. So we're live. Do you want to say hi? Yes. Is that, can I say hi? Yes, absolutely. Hi. So I was just talking about how awesome uh, the Geyser Point Bar and Grill is. This yes. Is is this not nice out here? Yes. You yeah. might as well just forward my mail because I'm going to spend a lot of time. I have a feeling yeah, out exactly. here. Exactly. <laughs> this and, particular seat is very nice. Right? Yeah, the water, nice breeze coming through. Like Our this service. is really, TV. really nice. Yeah, yeah. You guys got like, oh, got you. you got the big TV. You got the world champion cubbies on. Um, there's good food. I had, um, I had the lemonade. I had the, the, the Merlot sangria. Kids, don't try this at home. The Merlot sangria with a black cherry vodka. I just took a sip, just you know, for taste. And I tried the shrimp. And I tried the. They made me. I didn't want to. I tried the shrimp. I tried the prosciutto. I tried the uh, fried oyster. Hello, yummy. And some other little crustini thing. I don't know exactly what was on top, but it was phenomenal. So um, it was very nice. I think I'm going to be spending a lot of time out here in the near future. So. Kids schmids. Who needs the kids? I gotta ruin it. No offense, kids, but. I mean, they gotta pay for them. They gotta feed. They gotta share my food with them. That's true. So they seem to like to eat as much as you do. I know. They, well, obviously, the apple doesn't fall very far from the tree. Well, so, <laughs> that's it. well, it was really nice meeting you guys. Enjoy the rest of your trip. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I thought she said we were gonna be out of time. Oh, well, you know what? Let's just do it live then. Why not? Well, there you go. <laughs> Looks like we're gonna do a little. Uh, 
alive. Let's see, we're gonna sort of find our way. We're gonna get a chance to talk to the, uh, to the chef. So we're gonna sort of make our way over. Looks like I am next up on the, uh, on the queue. I thought I was leaving, but just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. I, I didn't think you were gonna have time for me, but I just happened, well, that's perfect. I just happened to go live anyway, so there you go, Yahtzee. I should, I should have worn something a little slimmer, but that's okay. Um, so there you go. So we, uh, we went out, and if you like this, please give me a share. I'm just gonna, yeah, I'll just selfie it. There you go. Um, if you have not been here in a long time, I will tell you, um, this is, this may be the best view in all of Walt Disney World. Um, with that cool breeze coming up, you see there are, um, they're working on the, the dock there. If you don't mind. So there'll be a transportation dock as well as a boat rental dock, just as there was before. And then we'll take a little walk around and I'll show you where they are building uh, the villas. We can't actually get up to the cabins because it just is a construction zone. Um, it's sparkly and cold. She's always so sparkly. How are you? It's higher. Come on, this is awesome. Oh, look. Well, I have to go. It's always nice seeing sparkly and cold. Can I get? Uh, can I get back there with like, chef? How are you? One one second. Sure. Steve Shustler, my friend, always popping in. It's always, uh, I always appreciate seeing you. Boathouse is still my favorite restaurant, don't worry. <laughs> I'm gonna make it nice and easy. I'm just going, me and my little human selfie stick arm, and that's it. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. I like it, I like it. Um, um, you got your three questions that you're to do? Sure. Okay. I'll figure them out when I get up there. Oh, sommelier too. It's like being a lawyer, you just hurry up and wait, and then uh, as soon as they're all set up, we'll get going. You would have to drive, yeah. But I want you guys to take a look at um, the beautiful bar, and I love, I love the theming here. But this is such a nice, casual place to come and hang out, whether it's afternoon or evening. Um, and if you're, you know, the nice thing too is you don't have to be staying here in order to enjoy um, venues like this. Oh, I'm so excited! Look at all that food. Yeah, yeah. Use them, use them a couple. We're ready? Awesome. All right. I'm so excited. Uh, we're actually live, if that's okay with you guys. Absolutely. The pressure's on. <laughs> Stephanie, you are the... I am the proprietor here. The other proprietor. Wow. We are going to become fast friends very quickly. <laughs> and Chef Michael? Michael. Oh, wait, I, gotta, I, gotta, I have to shake your hand. Hold on. How are you? A pleasure. Uh, how am I? How bad could I possibly be? This has been like the best day ever. I thought my favorite part of the Wilderness Lodge expansion was the cabins. Forget all that because I tried some of the food. This is my favorite part. So, Chef, can you tell us a little bit about where the inspiration for some of the items are and describe uh, what, a little, little bit about what you have on the menu? Of course. It's really easy. In the Pacific Northwest, the natural beauty there just sings, which really made it easy for us, both from a cocktail standpoint and from a food standpoint, to go through the developmental process. Here we have an array of different items. We have quick service walk up items, the lounge operates. Uh, we'll start out here with a couple of our quick service walk up items. We have a full grain portobello salad with grilled marinated onions and fresh peppers. Something else that's a great option, a little heavier, something a little more sustaining, is our buffalo burger with Tillamook cheddar. Again, buffalo being one of the signature offerings in the Pacific Northwest. This truly is a great option for every guest. Oh my. It's really a go-to window. <laughs> if you're looking for something a little lighter, or maybe just a little longer stay, stay with us here at the lodge. You can sit down in our open air uh, bar and have something like a shrimp on a wire. So it's a cold smoked cocktail shrimp with a little miso lime vinaigrette and Thai chili aioli. Surely it will prepare greatly with one of our... <laughs> 
It's also one of Lou Mangello's favorites. He just had some. <laughs> Perfect. So, and the sangria is a, um, it, if I'm getting it right, it's a Merlot sangria and a black cherry vodka. You are absolutely correct. So it's healthy because it has fruit in it. There you go. By my definition. Yeah. Chocolate mousse here, a little caramel corn and meringue. Really, again, a nice finish. It's very decadent chocolate. So it'll be a nice ending to any meal or time spent here. Nice, and I noticed the charcuterie plate. This is like right in my wheelhouse. I could just do all that all day long. And the hard orange cider is a, it's an alcoholic beverage? It is an alcoholic beverage. It's straight from the Northwest region, so it's really like half of Nice, and you obviously have a selection of um, beers and wines and... Nice. All right, Chef, and what, if you were to come here and eat, what's, what would Chef recommend? What's your favorite item on the menu? Again, our signature of the shrimp cocktail is really the go-to with its aesthetics and the cold smoking. It really just resonates with myself in the Pacific Northwest. And the flavors are uh, never missed. They're just great acidity, great flavor and balance with the fennel and the spice from the togarachi. Again, it's a must-have. Please do join us. Oh, you're going to, listen, I said to somebody before, you might as well just start forwarding my mail here because I have a feeling I'm going to be spending a lot of time. So, love that. thank you both so very much. Thank you. I'll, I'll see you soon. Bye, have a great day. Thank you. Karen, thanks so much. You're quite welcome. I'm going to grab my little goodie bag. Thank you again. Thank you. Thanks again. So good seeing you. Well, there you go. We ended up uh, getting a little bit of time with this. I wanted to hug him, but I thought it would be creepy. Um, the food here was delicious. I just had small samplings of it, but we'll obviously have to come back to get, maybe even as a little group, maybe I'll have to pick somebody to, maybe what I'll do is tonight, maybe I'll pick somebody to join me for a live dining review of said Geyser Point Bar and Grill. You see they have a lot of different items on the menu. Um, I had just a small sampling of a few of them, but look at that. And just to give you an idea of what it looks like inside and there are no walls uh, there are no walls there are no screens this is completely open air so i mean this has lou mangello written all over. now mind you i would just sort of lay down right there and take a little nap but well, actually i'm going to sit right here there are uh, tvs everywhere there's such a beautiful breeze coming off the water the food that i just had a small sample of was delicious so um, this may, you know, even though I've just been here for a little while for the event, uh, this might be a, uh, a new favorite haunt. As you can see, they also have a grab and go, a food section over here as well. So if you want to come by, grab some items, take them over to the pool, take them back to your room, maybe like me, eat them in your car. They have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Wait, oh, wait a second. Are you kidding me? Hold on a minute. I need to check something out. Ladies, I have a question for you. Does that really say a smoked salmon everything Bialy? I'm originally from the Northeast and most people in Florida don't know what a Bialy is. I am so excited. Okay. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna come back. Can I eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner here? There's no? Yeah, yes. I, okay, that's right. It might be a little weird. It might be a little, if I do it all in one day, that would be a little strange. <laughs> All right, what's your favorite item on the menu? Yes. <laughs> what? Holy smokes. Oh my, you had me at crab cake. What was it, the crab cake? Egg Benedict. Egg Benedict. Oh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> I'm so easily, I'm so easily won over by uh by food but let me give you a quick tour obviously like i said you, we can't go and see any place behind the curtain as it were uh, we, i did get a chance to tour it today but certainly uh no photos no video allowed but here is what is coming in terms of what is being built and what is being converted over 
to the uh, vacation club properties behind here is an amazing looking pool, really, really well themed, and the rooms are absolutely gorgeous. Um, they are woody and they are warm, yet they are still uh, modern, but not in a, uh, in a cold kind of way. Um, the colors, uh, the textures that they use, really, really nice. Um, I think Wilderness Lodge may have just uh, leapfrogged over Beach Club again in terms of my favorite resort, certainly in terms of theming. You can see uh, all the references to the railway. I have an interview that I did with uh, the lead Imagineer that I'll try and get posted as soon as I get home. But the, uh, the details are wonderful. The theming is spectacular, like I said, we can't. And the cabins, I literally asked one of the Imagineers if she could come to my house, not like in a weird way, well, maybe it is a weird way, but I asked her if when she was done here, she could come to my house and just do what they did in the cabins. They are beautiful. Um, when you walk into uh, the main sitting area, there's high ceilings, there's a beautiful kitchen. It's big, it's open, they have a, uh, a double fireplace, which meaning that the fireplace not only, it's glass, so you can see it not only on the inside, but you can see it on the beautiful wraparound outdoor porch that, oh, by the way, also has a hot tub in it. Um, these open July 17th. If I wasn't gonna be in Disneyland, I might be here on July 17th, but uh, I will definitely have to do some sort of a meet and or event and or both and or staycation uh, very, very soon. So you can see here, this, which was the old outdoor bar area is now closed. This is gonna be the new spa, um, a relatively small intimate spa, but I do believe they're gonna, I'm not sure if there's gonna be a massage as well as uh, manicures and pedicures and things like that, but it is a, uh, you can see why I love this resort as much as I do. I love it more. I love you most. Oh. Carrie and Marnie and Melanie, it is nice to see you. I wish you were here with me wandering the Wilderness Lodge. I wish I wasn't in jeans, but I had to for the uh, for the media event that I was here. But this is still just such a beautiful, um, I, I love this resort at dusk. I was almost tempted to do the show from here tonight, but I have a contest winner that we need to get to. Tim Begonia, how you doing brother? It is always nice to see you. I'm gonna head in this way because I'm schwitzing. So Roaring Forks uh, is closed now that the outdoor location is open. Um, I don't recall what they said they were gonna do with that space. Martin Shergold, my brother from the United Kingdom, how are you, my friend? Uh, Tim Begoni, the temperature today, it's actually a little uh, unseasonably warm. It's probably in the high 80s, but uh, because we had to wear long pants to be in the construction area, uh, it feels like it's about 117. I, uh, I do love me some Territory Lounge too, something fierce. Uh, arguably my favorite of the lounges, or at least one of them, next to uh, Territory Lounge. Victoria Falls is nice, but it's so far away. I love Meisner's Lounge. Uh, but I love this lobby, and I love this resort, and I will have to come back and uh, maybe ask one of you to join me for a live dining review of the... Uh, the new pool bar outside and uh, I'll have to see about maybe getting a cabin one day and uh, doing a live broadcast from there or I wish I could do like a meetup at one of the cabins but 
figure I'd bring you guys back inside. Um, I am going to be back later on tonight for the show at our same bat time, same bat channel, 7.30 here on Facebook. I am going to announce the winner of the WW Radio 10th Anniversary Logo Contest tonight. And I'm also going to announce something else, another contest. It's going to last one week and uh, give you a chance to uh, participate in that. Uh, I'm also going to try and lock in the exact time and location for the meetup in Disneyland in May. It's probably going to be a Wednesday. It's probably going to be at the Cozy Cone. And I'll probably have a chili cone carne in hand uh, at, before, and or during the meet. But uh, I want to thank you guys so very much for taking the time to tune in and join me today. Uh, unannounced, uh, Becky, don't give me grief, woman. Um, I appreciate you guys taking the time to tune in. Please come back later on tonight. Sorry, bring a snack, bring a friend, and uh, I'll see you guys tonight. Thanks for joining me on the tour.